Hello everybody, so today I'm going to do a new server setup. So basically I'm going to set up a C file server. So I already googled how to set up C file server on Windows. So basically it guide me to this page. So let's do step by step. So first step installing Python. Apparently I did the install already. So basically you click this and click down install okay so second step is add the path to the environment uh, variable okay so basically i'm going to get uh, my server properties advanced so Let's see what's our here environment variety so system varieties new key okay. so basically I'm going to pass so I'm going to edit this one so I will add the Python's path here. Okay. Hit OK. OK. So, download and uh, uncompress C5 server. Where's the download? Anyway. I'm going to search download client. I'm going to need a server. Server for Windows. Okay, let's do the latest one. I think I'm going to need a 7-zip to unzip it. So I'm going to download 7-zip. So this tool allow me to unzip the file. So I have the file already. Let's see what to do. Unzip C program anyway. So this is going to be a server. Okay. Interesting. didn't find my 7-zip Okay, now I did unzip everything here. Okay, let's see what's the next step. Start double click run dot bat. Okay, let's see. Run. Is it a run? 
Anyway, I will wait for this finished. Okay, it's uh, completed. So I'm ready to take the next step, run it. So choose a disk for the data. So apparently I'm going to put it on another drive. Initializing here is showing something. Let's go to my E folder to see what's going on here. Apparently it's created a bunch of files. Let me see which one is the latest one. Okay, here's the one. It's creator C file server here, including all the data. So if the operation is successful, right click the tree C file server to tree. Oh, C file, right click and uh, Add an admin account. Oh, email. Ask me a email anyway. Let's see if I can use my Gmail password. Okay, we added an admin account. Config open the C file folder. Right click the tree and see if the data will open. Right click. Let me make it show up. I'm going to show icon and the notice here. Right click. Open C5 folder. Okay, it's already here. And open the ccnet.config. CONF config. Open. I think I'm going to need this one. Server URL. Oh, this is a URL. So apparently, this URL should be visible from the internet. Let's see, I'm going to enter my internet address. And I'm going to change the default port as well, just to enhance some security. 8000. Anyway, let's leave it right now. Port, client port, network port. Save. Restart C file.
I'm going to see if I can access it locally. Yeah, I got C file. Oh, I logged in successfully. Okay, one more option is uh, run CIFA as a service. So if you go to the icon and click here, right click install as a Windows service. So do you want success? So install it as a service. So when the server coming up, it will run automatically. So please, uh, I believe the final step will publish your server to the internet. Uh, but right now it's still on the uh, um, internal. So basically, for example, on this, uh, the router, most router has the port forwarding. So you need to look at your routers and find out the port forwarding. So this is my router. I did a couple port forwarding already. So Okay, so for example, at rule service, uh, there's no such service. I believe I need uh, somehow, I need to add some service by myself. Okay, so application C file TCP. 800, 8,000, 8,000, okay, so this is my internal remote any, apply, so any application name, C file, so I added this one, so that's the way I publish my C file server to the internet, okay. Okay, because this uh, C file server and installed on a Windows server, so basically Windows server, there's a firewall will block the C file server uh, port by default. So what I need to do is I need to go to the control panel, control panel on the firewall, Windows firewall allow allow apps to s communicate through the Windows firewall allow another one so basically I need to add I don't know if it's need or not I need to add Python also I need to add the C file C file C file Bing under the C file Bing I add both of them into allowed firewall so I did already here Python is here uh, not sure it's a must or optional and the C file C file server and C file applet okay after I add those three at OK okay so Windows side and another one, I, mean, I maybe forgot uh, deploy another okay port. So here, port forwarding settings basically it asking me two ports. I just did one, so I'm going to do another one to make my video complete. Okay. So here's my firewall again. Port forwarding. This is my address at rule. Okay. What's the port name? 
8082. Okay, that's correct. TCP 8082, 8082, 8082. Okay, so um, same IP apply. C C5. Same says didn't save my previous one. A thousand TCP okay apply so save my change okay we did the port forwarding and the Windows file was setting at this point okay this is the all the steps I need to do to configure CFA server on my Windows okay Thanks for watching.